Gamers Court Cheating Part 5. We've watched the others. They have been amazing. Speaking of amazing, Be Amazed is the name of the channel here. This is their fifth one that they've come out with. They've been a blast. Here's a question. What percentage of gamers do you think use cheats? Now really think about it. How many are using them to catch every Pokemon, spawn any Minecraft item, or lock on to their enemies in Call of Duty? If I had to give a percentage, say 10%, don't point to me. First off, my ego and stubbornness is just too high for me to cheat. Number two, it just kills the fun for me. I like to hold my rings and boast about them and earn them. But the, the problem is when I do accomplish something, I just don't shut the f*** up about it. 5% 30. Poll how many people cheat? You know what? That's a good idea. Next. Curious. When we think of this percent, are we also including if you cheat in solo games? That's actually a good point, because there is a big difference. Because I've used, you know, cheats in like Minecraft, you know, single player. Next. Do three options. Cheated in single player. Cheating in online slash multiplayer. Okay, that's good. Not cheated. As of right now, overwhelmingly with 85%. On single player, Ooh, we have three percent who have cheated in multiplayer. Well, according to a survey from I, I'm going to say ten percent trainer software provider Plitch, a staggering fifty-seven percent of gamers admitted to using cheats, anonymously, obviously, while using cheats privately in single player games doesn't really negatively affect anyone. Streaming with them on, using them to publicly break world records, or playing with them in mass multiplayer games and even tournaments. Is this kid cheating in Roblox? Is this Roblox? Literally a stereotype right here, bro. Their games and even tournaments is a huge problem. The need to cheat for the sake of clout has gotten out of control. But not everyone gets away with it. With that, let's take a look at even more gamers. Interesting they put Nadia on. I don't think it's ever been proven that she has. There's been a lot of speculation, but she has? Well, we'll see in the video. At least from what I heard, there was never any evidence, just a lot of speculation. The Call of Duty tournament she got invited to? Weren't they in on it or something? Mingo style. Tom Tommy Trewin is a veteran Call of Duty player who since 2010 has been part of Damn. professional teams that have won more okay. than 70 tournament matches. It's fair to say Tommy knows this game well. So, when he was pitted against Mingo Style in the quarterfinals of the 2v2 Warzone Checkmate Gaming Tournament back in 2020, who had a weirdly high kill-to-death ratio of 5.2, uh, Tommy was suspicious. He and his partner Almixon called Mingo Style's gameplay into question and asked him to set up a monitor cam so they could be sure he wasn't using cheats. Bro, always with these monitor cams. I mean, that's a good way to show it so you could have your monitor on screen, but please don't tell me this is another dude that's gonna literally show his monitor cam cheating. Mingo style obliged. Oh. But then, in a move of pure idiocy, he exposed himself for the world to see. No, I didn't, mate. When did I say that? Oh! You did. You did. <laughs> Did you see it? Yep. Let's run it back. Bro, and it always seems to be on this screen. Remember when the dude in the chat told him to press something to check to alt tab or whatever, and then it actually popped up on a screen? It seems to be on this, like, beginning part, too. Watch his monitor cam footage here, and there it is. Pop. We've covered it enough times in previous yep. parts of this series to know that little gray pop-up box is our old pal Engine Owning. Engine this owning. is a cheat software that offers everything from aimbots which allow players to lock onto their opponents, to wall hacks, giving them the unfair advantage of seeing through walls, terrain, and objects. So Tommy's up. followers quickly alerted him to Mingo Style's slip-up, wow. and Tommy rightfully crucified him. But Mingo Style had an excuse. Oh, what was Get that? Out. Clara, maybe? And that's the only excuse you could really give in this situation, is Clara. She's everywhere, bro. Bro, what the? Okie dokie. He put his sheets up. Everyone clip it quick. Bro, I'm messing around. Get a grip. No. Oh! Get oh. oh, mate. I'm messing around, mate. Yeah. Oh! A picture. Yeah. Just a picture? Oh. That you decided in your infinite wisdom oh. to flash up mid-tournament? Now that's some ah. real smooth brain. It's just a prank, bro. Get out of here, man. Think about it. You get caught like that on the spot. What could you possibly come up with besides Clara? Clara is a good excuse. If anybody claims it's Clara, I would believe them. But Mingo Style was adamant it was the truth, going as far as to claim it was just a picture on Twitter and that it was all just a joke. 
Unwilling to let the matter go, Tommy asked Mingo Style to send him the supposed picture he'd flashed yeah, up, yeah, yeah. and that's when Tommy buried him. That image. Look at that. He said he's that image. He's not the smartest bloke. I told you, cheaters are stupid. <laughs> they are stupid. <laughs> he said that image is that. So he sent up the complete wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh Look at the difference. Man, I love the British. But accents <laughs> aside, it was clear Mingo Style had sent... Yeah, I was going to say. Same tab open, though, but completely different background. A completely different picture. Checkmate Gaming ignored oh. his lies and banned him, which Good. streaming site Twitch also did shortly after. Good. He stayed active on socials, though, eventually admitting to using cheats while pointing the finger at other potential cheaters which gained him no attention whatsoever. How do you even go back to, I've been grinding legit today. First time someone called me a cheat. Oh, bro, how, you should be grinding legit all the time. If only he'd provided some proof they were cheating by using, uh, I don't know, a picture? Mr. Slazy. The only thing more frustrating than seeing someone blatantly cheating is watching them stream themselves while blatantly cheating. Yep. You know, the ones I'm talking about. Usually Call of Duty streamers whose gameplay has red and yellow boxes yep. around all their opponents. They know that with their chronic lack of talent, the only way to get noticed as a streamer is to openly use these hacks. Otherwise, no one would pay attention to them. That's what a Facebook gaming streamer by the name of... I mean, he's already a dead streamer. Easy, or Dad Shark Gaming is all too happy to do. Dad Shark Gaming. So sad. So very sad. Well, back in 2021, Mr. Slazy was running his usual gambit of streaming himself, ruining games for other people, just to boost his super fragile ego, when he took out the wrong player. It was someone many of you are probably familiar with. Vicstar123, or Vic him. for short part of the famous YouTube collective, Sidemen. Yeah, Sidemen yeah. He was playing Call of Duty Warzone with a few pals when he noticed Mr. Slazy's godlike aim. And when the team looked him up, they all found his tiny streaming channel. Is he streaming? He's actually streaming. He I'm is live. And he's cheating, bro! Yeah, oh, he wow. You could see the, like, relief, too. When you know someone's cheating, like in a game, they're just that ridiculous and they're streaming it. And when you could go and confirm 100% they were cheating, it's like a relief. There's always a little piece that you think like, what if they actually weren't though? Or what if they're really that good? So Vic decided to give him the attention he was so desperately craving by spectating Mr. Slazy's stream <laughs> for his millions of subscribers to see. This is unreal. Yeah, this, this is, this was a And now it's content. That's it, and it's done. <laughs> It's done. It's done. Oh my. It's done. Oh my. This is what it's like. That's oh crazy. God. This is this is this is what we're going up against. Every lobby. Bro, he's not even trying to hide it. He's live and he's got his name in his in his thing. How is this fun? Vic and Co. continued to mock Mr. Slazy, encouraging people in game to report him while laughing at his terrible gameplay and calling out the game developer Activision for such a blatant lack of cheat control. I, I don't We're shooting gophers oh. out here. Oh That's insane, bro. Wait, Holy. I actually feel sick. Activision, you have failed everyone. <laughs> you have failed everyone that plays your game. And then, finally, Mr. Slazy got Live? exactly what he deserved. That'd be sick. Stay behind you. Oh my, and he still oh. loses. Okay. He still loses. Ha That's embarrassing. All those hacks and you still lose? What a sad little life, Mr. Sleazy. Sorry, Mr. Slazy. After being put on blast by Vic, Mr. Slazy soon nuked his Facebook game. They all do this. Every time they get caught, they disappear from the internet. The Austin U.S. Back in 2022, the Austin U.S. decided to try his hand at streaming Call of Duty on Twitch. It's a very competitive scene, but his aim was impeccable, and his instinct regarding his opponent's locations was incredibly accurate. It was this godlike skill that got a few people interested, and not in a good way. It wasn't long before they accused him of cheating, and after enough people began calling him out, he was quick to confess to using an aimbot. Oh, wow. But that wasn't the best part of catching him out. Bro, I hate this. I am going to be playing legit from now on. I don't want to read. I will actually not read anymore. You Several can. months before the accusations, the Austin U.S. 
was midstream and apparently forgot that the world could see his setup. Either oblivious to the ramifications or just straight up dumb, he proceeded to stream himself visiting the cheat site Phantom Overlay. Oh he went to log in, which oh filled in his details God. automatically, showing he already had an account with them, uh. before exposing a neat little list of all his previous oh my God, orders, dude. which totaled some oh one my God. God, 195 dollars look at this! 195 euro, about 200 bucks. Most of these were for Call of Duty Vanguard, the game he was playing at the time. Mmm, certainly explains that 4.8 kill to death ratio. But really, why would you waste that much money on cheats? If you want to beat someone that badly, why not use that money to buy an easier game that even kids can play? Might I suggest crunching? <laughs> Flow beat. Was that a... It's a very particular type of speedrunning, unlike most games which require muscle Is this a VTuber? memory and refined techniques to get a good time. Random seed Minecraft runs require sound logic and an acute mathematical ability because the map you spawn into is different every time. Which is why I appreciate you guys don't want me to speedrun Minecraft. These are what's known as blind runs. And back in 2021, speedrunner Floby, or Toxic Flow, who'd been speedrunning Minecraft for a few months, suddenly uploaded a video of a blind run with a time of 11 minutes 37 seconds. Just ran. At the time, this placed Floby's run in the top 10 fastest Just of all time. Yeah, not a VTuber, looks like a gift tuber, you know. God. No, it's just just someone playing and just have has a cute gif at the bottom. Oh my god! Oh, I'm shaking! Oh my oh. god! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh, I'm shaking! Less than two months. Listen, I have sped run, have broken records of things, have a completed endurance weeks and challenges in front of you guys. That is the phoniest reaction I've ever seen. That is so terrible. They that uploaded three runs that were all under 15 minutes, which is pretty wild for someone as new to speed running as Floby was. This caught the attention of several Minecraft veterans, one of which, 11 D billion, broke down each of Floby's runs and came to one damning conclusion. They had to be cheating. Yep. Why? Because Floby's luck was either off the scale or they already knew the locations of several key elements across the map and were working to a predetermined plan over a landscape they knew, gotcha. not a random map. Gotcha. For example, at this point in the run, any speedrunner worth their salt would be looking around for a fortress. Bruh, I've seen adult stuff with better acting than that person. Like, holy shit, how hard is it to fake excitement? 100%. But Floby, Brian acts better at being excited. Oh wow, I can't believe I just figured out the exact alignment of Nags's eyebrows being 17 degrees off. That's wrong cheated makes a beeline in a Let's random go, direction baby. without looking around or behind them even once here lava housing can be seen which takes precious time to get rid of yeah. most speedrunners would have just reset the game at this point but floby persevered because as 11 billion pointed out floby wasn't improvising he was working to a plan for a map he'd already run several times but that wasn't the only way. I, I mean, even st with that, some people just continue the run, you know, see what they can make the best out of it. I don't know about that one. It's such a good point. Because some could just be like, hey, I'm going to play through. There's lava there. I'm not going to reset the run. When you reset in Minecraft, you have to select several options to create your new world. Mm -hmm. To speed this process up, a macro was built that sped through the process. Okay. And the click sound effects it generates are compressed into this. Short but distinctive. However, veteran Minecraft player Ninja no Brain way. noticed the same macro Floby used on their run sounded like this. Oh, That's extra two extra click. clicks. Yeah, extra clicks. But the macro worked the same. Ninja Brain realized the clicks could only have occurred if Floby's macro included two extra steps selecting more world options, oh. then pasting in a specific seed. They then removed the selection showing the more world options screen to make the seed look random, even though it was one they knew and had wow. practiced. 
their mistake was leaving in those two extra clicks. So they when, they, when they did the splicing, yeah, should have took that out. Speedrunning community, man, you do not want to mess with them. Still didn't get number one? Well, that's smart to not. You don't want to go for the world record. Every single piece of eyes on you. You want to start by getting somewhere in the top 10 if you're cheating. So this way you have like kind of like a tracker. People like, oh, dude, he moved up, you know, to seventh grade. Do not do, do not cheat. Later apologized to the community and revealed that all but one of their recent runs had been faked. After that, they deleted their YouTube channel, changed all their socials, and disappeared. Well, nice. with analysts as thorough as Ninja Brain and Eleven D Billion, I pity anyone else who thinks about trying to get away with cheating on a Minecraft speedrun. Shiv GTK To prove they're not cheating, some streamers will set up a monitor cam so that their audience can see their setup and check that there isn't another hidden screen that they're using with the cheats on. Which is on. fair, which is This good. is exactly what popular Call of Duty player Shiv GTK did when he competed in a 2021 Vanguard tournament with a $7,000 prize pool. Both okay. his monitors looked clean, with yeah. no obvious hacking menus or red boxes to be seen. But when his team went on to beat professional esports team Optic, Everyone began to look at the monitor cam a little more carefully. Uh -huh. As they picked apart some suspicious gameplay where Shiv was setting a bomb, they noticed that on the monitor cam, an incredibly tiny white dot could be seen shooting across the screen. What? I'm playing this. I'm playing this. Did you see it? No. Hang on, let me zoom in. Yeah. Right about here. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? Well, that white dot just so happens to coincide with an enemy player appearing around the corner. That's a wall hack. Nine times out of ten, when he goes, did you see it? I saw it. I would have never, unless he pointed the arrow at that scene that, forget the cheaters. I'm more impressed with the people figuring it out. There's no way until he pointed it out that you saw that and had any idea from back here. There's no way. One with the settings altered so that the enemy locations are barely visible to the monitor cam. But a wall hack nonetheless. Wow. Shiv was swiftly disqualified from the tournament, but he didn't take his punishment well. Instead of silently deleting all his social media what and streaming do? profiles like any other exposed cheater, Shiv set one last bomb before disappearing. He sent out a tweet naming a long list of other players who he claimed had been cheating too. Bro! Yo! Snitched Snitch. and bounced. Causeway. Now, I need your help with this next one because I can't tell if it's a setup or just plain stupid. Okay. An anonymous viewer sent me a clip of an unnamed Twitch streamer who had his Discord chat application opened. Nicknamed Cause, the Discord user is chatting to DaBaby. Seems legit. While his desktop boasts a couple of questionable apps, including the aptly named Cheat Engine and Wiimod. These are well-known okay. hack locations, <laughs> to pay fees, if you will, with each one enabling <laughs> users to install mods and cheats for different games. And in this Discord call, Kaz sends DaBaby a Wiimod file before heading into a game of NBA 2K21. DaBaby is also streaming NBA 2K21, so it appears both of them are using or planning to use Wiimod to access cheats in a game. A little look at the game Cause is playing brings up a character called twitch.tv slash Causeway. Okay. Surely this guy isn't dumb enough to have streamed himself sharing cheats with someone else who was also streaming himself receiving those same cheats? No. If so, is this really the streamer Causeway or someone trying to set him up? Because Could this be. is a level of dumb that's so dumb. But at the same time, we have seen cheaters just put their camera down and be like, no, I'm not cheating. It's a little difficult to comprehend. Well, Cosby's Twitch channel does boast a few videos where he claims he was permanently banned from the game Roblox. <laughs> it's not a good look, but that's not exactly incriminating. So what do you think? Is this streamer actually Cosby? I don't know why it's so funny to me. It's just because it's Roblox, dude. Let me know down in the comments below. I don't know. There's really not enough evidence for that one. X hate. You know. Back in 2021, India's The Esports Club Invitational welcomed teams to play Valorant for a prize pool of 300,000 rupees. Pretty big. Some $4,000 at the time. Mm -hmm. It attracted teams from all over the nation. 
with more than 6,000 fans watching the stream at its peak. However, after the first round of quarterfinals, a hammer was brought down on Team Paratroopers. One of their players, X Hade, had suddenly received a permanent ban from Valorant. Passing to using hacks while playing Valorant. Uh, permanent ban, boys. Permanent. I mean, eSports side thing. Initially, x -Hade claimed this must have been a mistake, that it must just be a glitch. Fans supported him. His team reached oh, out boy. to Valorant's developer Riot Games for clarification. Oh, it's so embarrassing if, like, he stands with it and the fans support him and so does his team. Oh, man, and they go through that and... They go to riot? Oh. And paratroopers were allowed to continue competing oh. in the tournament with a substitute. Oh, okay. Although, they lost their very next match. Talk about foreshadowing. Huh. x -Hade continued to deny all cheating allegations, but then on a streamed Discord call with the paratroopers team lead, Binks, he said this. This is one of three things every time. I was just trying them out. Two, Clara, and number three, Clara. <laughs> so he hadn't been using hacks in the tournament, but he but had prior. been using okay. them before because Still, he desperately no. wanted to get to a higher level in game. Uh, not exactly the endearing defense he seems to think it is. It wasn't long before Riot Games released a statement revealing x -Hade had been using prohibited third-party software, Terrible. a fancy way of saying cheats, yep. which they'd detected, and so had banned his account permanently. Good. With the confession and the permaban, x -Hade deleted his YouTube account and, and disappeared. disappeared. Bro, they all disappeared from the... Despite the ban, he was back playing on a new account and for a new team. But what? How? Isn't it a hardware ban? Did he get a new PC? And then he used the same name and went to a new... Ban him, please. <sighs> Again. Well, I guess once a cheater, always a cheater. That's it? He continues to play using the same name? Mar from afar. You don't need thousands of followers to expose cheaters these days. All you really need is a streaming account of your own, a little patience, and the hope that eventually the cheater you're spectating will slip up. Which is exactly what Poet TTV, or Sage Poet, managed to do. TTV in the name, dude. I have done that. It just makes me cringe whenever I see TTV in the name now. And who am I to talk? I used to have it. Oh god, it's so bad. He was streaming himself to a small audience as he spectated a Minecraft Hypixel streamer called Jamar from Afar and another streamer called H Without S. He figured they were probably using cheats, and so sat in wait trying to catch one of them in the act. And as he was, something sketchy flashed up on the left, right in the middle of Jamar from Afar's screen. Hacking ESP and all. And then he times me over half an hour because... Did you see that? No. Computer, rewind and enhance. Ah, uh, yes, a Minecraft cheat software menu oh. with player ESP, aka wall hacks, selected oh. while in a public server. All right, I thought it was part of the monitoring. Well, no, Jamar, yeah, enhance. I thought it was part of the game. Is uh, that yes. obvious? A I Minecraft was... cheat software menu with now player ESP, aka wall hacks, selected while in a public server. Well, Jamar from Afar's account on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok appeared to be linked to another account called Tech Panda Gaming. Now, Tech Panda seems to be banned on Twitch, but Tech Panda Gaming's YouTube account is still live. It hosts videos with long, rambling descriptions where they claim they're banned from playing in certain Minecraft servers like Hypixel. The anti cheat is broken. Hmm, clearly not as broken as you seem to think, my banned for cheating friend. Mechorazium. The more speedrunning I watch, ah, the more respect I have for it. Same, it takes hundreds, same. sometimes thousands. thousands of hours to memorize an entire game and get the button presses and timings just right. All cheating is bad. I think the ones that really get under my skin, these are the speedrunning ones. Because of all the time and dedication that a lot of these people put into it, they get me the most angry when people cheat. All to complete it in the fastest time possible. Events like Games Done Quick showcase some of the best players in their game categories. 
inviting them to show off their skills in front of huge live and online audiences. It's a lot of pressure for speedrunners, which some just can't handle. Speedrunner Mechorazium, for example, was invited to the 2022 Summer Games Done Quick event, speedrunning Metal Gear Me Rising what? remotely. I have some experience in this on Revengeance mode too! But after a charity donation goal was met, he has to play through the game's Blade Wolf DLC as well. Okay. But that's when Mechorazium raised some red flags. Uh... It's actually pretty hard to get past this grab because he has an eyes on, on his like. Is it because of wonking out? Did you notice anything wrong with that clip? No. Now let's rewind and take a look at what he's doing with his hands here. So he's playing on a PC with his mouse in his right hand. If that's so, how does his avatar move around a mouse controlled action while his right hand is in the air? Well, he claims he moved the mouse with his left hand. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Uh, that's yeah. one heck of an odd choice, especially at a timed event. Yeah. Spectators also noticed an audible lack of keyboard noises in the Blade Wolf segment. So, when he broke the record for the run by a whole 25 seconds, not everyone was convinced it was legit. Then, in July, he came clean to one of SGDQ's enforcement wow. heads. As they suspected... The run had been pre-recorded and pre spliced run. to perfection. Wow. It was an ideal run, just not one he'd performed live, having switched out the save files after he'd finished the main run. But he didn't hide behind any lame excuses. He, he just apologized profusely, acknowledged that he'd acted selfishly, and said he didn't want the run considered for any leaderboards, as it would be unfair to the of rest course. of the community. Games Done Quick banned him from attending any future events, and scrubbed his records from their YouTube Good. archive. Well, ironically, it looks like this one's going to take time to move on from. Nadia. Now let's get into it. I've been waiting for this one. Here we go! When it comes to being accused of cheating, no one has more fingers pointed at him than Call of Duty Correct. Warzone player and streamer Nadia. She began streaming back in January 2021, and her Warzone gameplay attracted an audience of over 900,000 Twitch followers. But as her fans grew in number, so did the people who doubted her skill, and they began to pick apart every second of her gameplay. It seems like every guy with facial hair and access to the Fortnite font has made a video about the undeniable- It's true, because there's so many videos about her. And I don't even play Call of Duty, but I've watched a lot, and it's insane how many they are. And they're all the same, with the same speculation from the same clips, all saying the same thing. And there's no, like, pure hard evidence. Ebel proof they have about Nadia cheating, lying, or being exposed. Some are creepily obsessed, but they have picked up on some questionable clips, like here. I, I seen this clip. Yeah, shooting a wall in the same place someone is standing behind is pretty sus. Yeah, I saw it that. It could indicate that she's using wall hacks. However, Why? others have pointed out that an ammo crate was dropped from that direction. So she heard someone there, she just didn't know where. Correct, and it was like a pre-fire. A little sussy, yeah, but I remember watching that, and that's, that's a good point. Uh, that's reasonable. Yeah. But what about here, where she was shadow banned? A protocol Activision enacts when it suspects a player of cheating and places them in special lobbies that are full of other suspected cheaters. Yeah, I'm shadow Hacker hunters huh. were quick to claim this was more undeniable proof she was cheating. No. However, others argued that she'd been playing from a few different locations in the days prior, mimicking the effects of, of a, a VPN, VPN? Okay. which might have triggered the ban. This video is sponsored. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a VPN sponsorship. If I did have one, that would have been a perfect time to put it in. Another point at a live Call of Duty event, she was apparently kicked out for cheating while on stream. But the footage supposedly showing her being kicked out by the mods for cheating shows she was actually just having tech issues and needed help. Look at that. They weren't asking her to leave. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Tech issues. The thing, though, if I recall correctly, in this tournament or when she played live, she did really, really bad. Which, still, you could be nervous, uh, you're not at your, you know, PC, a variety of stuff, but I did hear she did really bad. 
bad. There's been no proof against her, at least. So I'm waiting to see what if there's anything here. Otherwise, she's innocent in my eyes. All right, Tim, I'll be right back. I'm in trouble. Some have gone one step further, like Rara, who released leaked messages supposedly from Nadia to some unknown person, claiming she had someone unlock camo skins for her guns on her account. Anyone who watched part four of this series might remember that's the same excuse Vanguard's number two player, Plexify, used after he was caught wall hacking. The two elements are linked, that's for sure, but without wall hacks slipping through onto Nadia's stream, it's not conclusive. Correct. And a lot of others seem to agree. Renowned streamer and gamer XQC. Yo, let's go, bro! I know XQC did a couple of things with Nadia. He reviewed some of these clips and determined. Guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna tell people are cheating, okay, do it the right way. Okay, I think these clips are just <laughs> they're just. My man, I agree. The accusations are endless, and all supposed proof of her cheating is far from airtight. This would be enough to chase almost anyone off, but not Nadia. Instead, she's cleverly leaned right into it, uploading videos titled "I'm banned from Warzone" and "I got kicked out for cheating." She constantly she's smart. alludes to cheating. Smart. Never giving in to offered PC Smart. scans, posting fake confessions layered in sarcasm, yep. and the hacker hunters have lapped it up, fueling her growth and theirs. Many hacker hunter channel's most popular and profitable videos revolve around Nadia. Because so, the clicks and everyone views. wins. Yep. If these channels really wanted to take her down, they'd just stop making videos about her every moment, wait for a real slip up. And then go for her. Yep. But then, they what would make they money. make content about? Yep. Classic catch 22 there. Yep. So, until we see wall hacks on her stream or she receives a permanent ban from Activision, Nadia will be busy making everyone money. There is no evidence on there, so you know what? Let her keep doing that. If she's going to deal with the hassle of all that, of people constantly bashing her and trying to pick away at it, you know what? Play back at it, play into it. Do you think maybe she's not cheating? But if the day comes out she's cheating, if it's like evidence proven done, she's going to have to f fully disappear. I'm pretty sure if there was full-blown evidence of her cheating, it'd be all over the internet. We'd all know. Survivor.